What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So, to round off up and last time, we captured Lisbon getting revenge on the Portuguese and knocking them out of the game and we laid siege to Madrid as they left it completely open with a gar without a main garrison and the garrison that spawned in is NAF, so we laid siege to it. And yeah, things seem to be going okay. I keep toying with the idea of building a school here but I know they'll absolutely hate me for it which is fair enough because I have come in and slaughtered them all and killed them well same same difference um, but I think the first action is to oh I can't it's not letting me attack Madrid immediately fair enough I'm gonna spend some money so I'm gonna build the military academy just to keep the just to keep the uh, Research tree open. Um, just look, start spending my money in odds and sods, odds and sods places. I think things seem to be taking on okay. Upgrade the farm. But yes, if I capture Spain, um, it won't knock them out of the game because they captured Turin one turn before I could annihilate them. Or well, technically two turns. So... Yeah, this won't knock them out, but it might be... If I take Madrid, it might be allow, allow me to declare peace. At which point I will be at peace with many, many, many nations. I think, will I even be at war with anyone? Oh, Prussia, Russia, Austria. <clears throat> which I don't want to be at war with any of them, really. Peace and trade. Option peace, trade, and I will pay. Nope, I'm not giving away any of my territory. Not to anybody. But to be honest, because right now I'm acquiring money faster than I can spend it, or more than I can spend it, um, it might not be a bad idea to uh, either go hard on the investment in the navy, because I've got nothing else to spend it on, and I don't really have a, I don't even really have a need to raise armies, not massively. Hmm. Well, I think my next plan is to yeah, we want to invest in the navy, go to the trade nodes, and start to capture some of those, and hopefully do a bit better in the naval domain than I did against that battle with uh, Portugal. <laughs> Yes, I do need to get generally better at the naval side of it. I used to be quite good, but then I stopped doing navies completely. You don't, you don't really need to do navies in this game. And then I completely lost all my skills that I had at the start. Oh well. We'll soon get those back. But yes, right now I don't really have a... Unless I decide to push on and start capturing... Well, no, I don't want to capture North, Am North Africa. A, it's a not very wealthy nation. And B... It puts me into um, direct competition with the, the Ottoman Empire, which obviously I don't want because they're a good trade partner. There is a port in this region that has not yet. So let's send this guy up to Savannah. Russia's built rocket ships. Of course they have. Good. Portugal is armed or protected. Starting to like me a bit more, or at least hate me a bit less. I think I am going to destroy this just to keep it ready for building a school. Expert purser. Hmm. Excellent. Korean record on the Caribbean. Good. That upgrade is coming. Good. Good, good, good. Just keep recruiting. Um, let's upgrade the trade port just to make sure you are still getting rid of all your goods. It would be brilliant if Britain knocked out the United Provinces. Because then this territory would be a nice, lovely little addition to my, to my empire with a large sugar plantation. 
Right, so we've got lots of money. No need to spend it. So diplomacy. Austria, we're indifferent. So let's peace, trade, and I'll offer you four lovely grand. Five lovely grand. Six lovely grand. Nope. Very well. Prussia. Peace, trade, and we'll offer you four lovely grand. But they didn't ask for territory. So what about five thousand? Nope. Peace, trade. Okay, random offer of seven. What Prussian blood? Come on, round ten. Oh, for God's sake. Or Russia. Peace. Peace, offer payment, two grand. Why do they hate me so much? Why are they so keen to have war? Why does no one want to accept my money? The Persian is usually good for trade. 14,000? Fine. To be honest, I'm earning a lot of money, so... May as well spend it on something. So what? 14 grand I spent on them. Two. Seven turns. It took me seven turns to earn that back. Next time I offer to buy Gibraltar off the Genoese. Ah! We siege of Spain. Let's move in. But yes, next time I might offer... If not, I might even save up and just pay them a load of money for it. If not, then I'll build a fortress on the other side of the boulder and put some troops. It's not a brilliant position. Let's have these in reserve to go through the breaches. My cavalry is a, re is a reinforcement piece. Let's have these guys ready to start scaling the walls. You focus on the wall. You focus on that wall, I suppose. Do some, eh, let's do some exploding shells, drop some nasties on them. Keep them firing round shot. Why are you not firing? Oh, 
Oh, I must have got a bunch of guys there. Oh yes, come on, well, all those guys are on the steps. Because they should... Get all them. Got him! It's a Spanish Jenga party. There you go, let's just speed up time a little bit to get the uh, holes in the walls. Oh, that would have been so, so good. They really don't want to cover the breaches, really, do they? Falacom, Zizanry, Militia and Militia. What's going to say? See if I can knock this wall down and block a chunk of them up there. It needs to give me artillery something to fire at. Can they hit the troops in the centre? Sort of. They might have to destroy the command HQ to get to it. Fire at them. Let's see if that's possible. No, they don't agree with that so much. Nope. To so keep firing at the provincial line on the wall instead. Use the howitzers to drop nasties on these walls. But in this case, let's move up. on militia there's still lots of reasonable quality line infantry Keep pecking at them. If they can get one shell into there, like into the bundle, that would be brilliant. Okay, I 
I'm going to hold fire on that plan and then fire on the centre. And let's get these guys around here. Good. Houses are dropping in the centre. And hitting the armoury. Because I want these guys to hold them on the wall. Well, you guys need to run if you're going to be weird like this. Everyone's getting within range. My ground is up over the gate. These guys lined up. Fireball off to storm in once they've captured it. So how much worse are fusing arrows to line infantry again? They're a lot worse in melee. gate mine it is mine good Shit. 
charge straight in. You go over here, help out this unit ground is. Let's get frontiersmen up on the walls to provide fire support. These guys are holding quite well, although I'm a bit concerned about their longevity. Same over them. Destroy this unit of Colonial Line. Get my frontiersmen in to start doing providing fire support inside the castle. Isolate the ground is and isolate the um, line in between two separate pockets. Good. Frontiersmen are in there, in position. Hopefully they fire into this garrison line. Excellent. Holtz accidentally had all of the frontiersmen. One of you break off to help further secure this wall. The other one of you. Get down here, I suppose. Good it is. Get into him, I suppose. These frontiersmen have been my MVPs. these guys continue fighting this unit. Weak unit of militia. I want these guys to run around and flank the line infantry in the centre. Oh no, 
the line is broken, so you... You form your line and start firing by rank. Some own howitzers that cause them to rout. Okay, let's form these lines to fire. Now let's get my frontiersman up. Hopefully some of those should come back before they climb over the walls. Colonial Light back in. I can understand them routing, but they're 111 out of 188. They should still be good. 147 out of 225. They should still be good. Frontiersman is still doing very good. A unit of Colonial Light up here is still doing very good. Good, Grenadiers are back. You, come back. Just run past that handful of Spanish militia. Doesn't matter. Reload Grenadiers! These blind infantry have been holding on their own for how long? So I lost the gatehouse again? Yeah, fair enough. There we go. Final break. The ally, there he is. <laughs> Spanish finally broke after so much wavering. It was touch and go for a minute there. I thought I'd uh, thought I'd uh, mucked it up. Just goes to show though how valuable it can be if they've if they even have to leave one wall undefended. There you go. Madrid is captured, and all of their gentlemen start fleeing back to Turin. Savoy. Ah! Ra raiding? How dares he?
Right now it's good that the, the, uh, the Americans and the British are facing off against each other. It makes it a lot easier for me. Although I'm afraid I may end up coming to blows with France. Now if I do, it also means coming to blows with the United States. So I'm going to be on Britain's side in that conflict. Which I don't mind, because I am British. <laughs> Someone's taken the United Provinces because I see an undeveloped United Provinces island. You know, that also means an island in India. So I'm definitely, definitely going to send someone to capture that. To have a foothold in India. Some tea. And the AI never really usually attacks it. Like they might they might blockade it, which is kind of annoying, but if my plan is to build up my navy, to have a very strong navy, then them blockading it doesn't matter, because I should still always have a better navy than them. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. You say not currently being exploited, but they are, because there's a mine. Yep, yeah, you're not happy at all. And what may end up needing to happen is I destroy this university. Do you have two? You do. So I'm going to destroy this school. The seminary is fine, but you're already 100% Catholic, so that doesn't matter. Let's just upgrade this happiness building. Upgrade this happiness building. Exempt you from tax. Once I destroy a school, that should knock it down a fair amount. If I need to destroy another school, I will. Oh, look at these. So if I merge, so if I merge him to them, they've merged. The experience has gone down by one. But they would have both lost, lost experience in that case. But I'd rather, so I'd rather have just them have just one unit lose it. Yep, so you're being destroyed. You two are being upgraded. Sure, I'll take five turns. You will be upgraded. Because I do want to have, ultimately, three universities. That's the, the amount that I think is kind of bang on. Particularly because I started from such a, you know, backwards position. Okay, so let's get Salamanca on Carcass Shot. Do I want Carcass Shot? Or do I want another industry one? Industry's probably good. To be honest, Threshing Machine's probably quite good, but I don't want this, this is the turn bonus. I don't want, don't want to bother with that. Flying Shuttle gives me straight away just more money from textile industry, which has got to be good. Lots of big new ports have been developed, which is good. Iron Masters Works, which has been built. And then this army, which is which is quietly being... Well, firstly, actually. Oh, I've got no money to recruit buccaneers. Shame. With this sloop, it's going to go over here. And capture this region. Boom. Can't fix anything because I have no money, but it adds a very large sugar plantation with abundant yields um, into my into my empire. But I, I play traded all that money with Persia, and they're still and they're being darn blockaded. Oh yeah, so so Sweden now Sweden Spain has given me two dockyards. Seems extreme. Do you have population problems? Not at all. What if I did tax you? Still no. Bankruptcy should help you grow. Industrialization is going down. 
clamour for reform should go down by a lot because I'm knocking down your school. Let's see, if I do have to knock down the other one, then okay, I will. Intimate. Ah, so this is my uh, trade fleet is growing. Good. So what I want this army to do, once this army is taking Caraco, I want to ship him over to the Indian Theatre and take Ceylon. Then bring them back, leave just a token trade, you know, garrison here. Bring them back to here to serve as a bit of a fast reaction force to protect what's going on. Sorry if you can hear someone with a uh, power tool outside. I've got my window shut, but there's not a, lot, not a lot else I can do about that. Cool, everything seems to be going along well in terms of prestige. So it's like a long way to go for my navy, but my navy, is, compared to everyone else's, is still pretty strong. But it needs to be stronger if I'm going to face off against the British. Anyway, looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.